Well, here we have it. 6.08 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The perfect time. Why? Pre-market has been in play for one hour and eight minutes. 22 minutes will be the opening bell and you've got two stocks on the gap open list. Autodesk, earnings related, TSRA. Those are the only two that qualify at 1.00 ratio or higher. We all know. Therefore, let's take a look at the gap open down on this fine Wednesday morning in this monthly options expiration. Gap open down and gap open up. Let's see here. Price line. Whoa. CME. Left elbow. Google. 2.82. Look at that bull. TQQ. Down a dollar fifty-eight. Right here. Right here. Amazon. 1.37. So you got Apple. But look at the contraction. The contraction going into the opening bell with the futures down. With the data that came out, S&P down 1190, Dow futures down 87 right now. That's how it is in pre-market. Uh, NASDAQ is down 12.25 or 0.53%. Gold, hey, it's down minus 8.5 right now. And so one of the things that we're looking at is... From our October lows up to the high reversal count one is that the rebound has not been there substantially enough across the broader part of the market to move those up and break through those key resistance levels in the price action in your platform, the uh, SMF MMT uh, platform. Price line right here. Take a look at that, and what you're looking for is the contraction, and they turn around, and they break higher than the previous bar, and they don't look back, and you have to have your qualifiers, and those are your three teeny price action breakout points. So if a teeny is 80 cents, and that's times three, well, that's that qualifier and some of the higher beta names. So when we come down, the price action in Google will be much stronger than other periods. And what we're going to be learning is how you take that close, 616.56 to the bid. And how are they going to mark down that 605 call? The broader market is going to have to get to a point where it has to hold the higher price action levels, consolidate and break higher. We are telling everyone that technically to this current support level in the S&P and the broader indexes is that yes, it is a reversal. And yes, it is at a lower support level, but it's at a critical support level to get up to 1300 or 1325 in the S&P in year end. It's going to take a lot of fund managers coming in to buy these markets. Now, it's pre-market. There's lots of opportunities in here, MMTs. The contraction, the contraction on the pullback where they get support. So let's say it was a double teeny price action line and then all of a sudden bam there's that buy side bar and it's meeting your qualifier but then the follow through of the price action also has to meet your qualifier and or consolidate at certain price levels and the higher that the consolidation is in the price level then the longer that it can hold that price level in your platform that equals strength in price action because it does and it's 613.20 to 616.56 this is the pre-market NASDAQ analysis 
on the gap open down ratio list that we make markets on. Watch that bull today on the opening bell. And the opening bell isn't that far away. Now, on the other hand, we already looked at the gap open up. There, these are news related events. Green Mountain Coffee, well, that's been a big short for a while. Okay. And there's so your gap up list doesn't have a lot of conviction. So if you don't hold, if, if you go deeper and break those support levels at three teenies on the way down and get to five teeny level reversal and we start to make a market, well, then you will get to go. So keeping the stop market order in, once your entries are there for the risk management purposes, is listen, you're making a market, okay? And the Google trend is strong. So we will do our best for what these contracts, these weeklies, 11, 19, 610, 605 is up there. Here's a 620. That's a 1217 one. And I'm going to go ahead and bid on this one. If this trend is strong, I'm going to go ahead and put a limit order out here right now on this one at 13.90 cents on one. Okay. Yesterday's low, 14.7. I'm going to conclude the pre-market 11-16-2011 at 6.15 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Gap open up, gap open down list on the NASDAQ comp. High beta gap down. Um, that bull will have to hold support because when reversals happen you make lower lows in the trend and then of course you always have that reversal and then you go up and what we've done so far from the October lows of 1075 that was our target and the current highs in the S&P look at our S&P 500 videos we do have a reversal to a support level that has to hold and that's above 1257 